Hi everyone, it's me, C Lefty Run. I'm back. I think I'm not sure yet. <laughs> so we'll find out when my real training starts on 822. I'm a little nervous about it. I'll tell you why. But um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so. Hit the subscribe notification. And not that I get paid or anything like that, but it's all about my kids thinking I'm cool because I only have 10 subscribers and they're like, mom, that's embarrassing. And I'm like, my nephew, by the way, who does like scooter videos has like 400 subscribers. I'm like, what? What is happening? So if you want to subscribe so my friend, my kids think I'm cool, please do. Also, you can follow me at C Lefty Run on Instagram, where after I run, sometimes I just vent about the run and um, or whatever's on my mind. Uh, anyway, so what I've been up to after I saw you, I had finished Rebel Canyon, Mount Charleston. I ran it in 337. My goal was a 335. So it was two minutes out. I still blame my husband for that, who was at mile 24 with his sign. And had I not stopped to chat with him, I would have made my goal. No, I'm just kidding. I was super happy to see him. And it gave me, I was real tired. It gave me a great excuse to stop, but it's just fun to blame him. So anyway, um, I, it's been a rough go this summer in terms of my running. I'm going to be really honest. Um, I, they've just all felt awful, easy, hard, speed. It's just all felt bad. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm just... I didn't get adequate rest from Charleston. I don't know if it's because it's the humidity has been really bad here, which I know if you live on the East Coast or the Midwest, like it's nothing compared to you. But this SoCal girl, um, if there's 1% of humidity in the air, I am going to feel it and I'm going to complain about it. And so that's been my life because it has been like 70s and 80s, but like 75% humidity. So that's just something that I am not used to. My skin likes it though. My skin likes it. My hair doesn't. My skin does. So um, after Mount Charleston, I was supposed to run mountains to beach. So I only took a week off, um, only took a week off from Charleston to jumping right into mountains to beach. And so I kind of started training all over again and my body really wasn't ready to, I could tell that my body wasn't, but I was like, well, you committed to this. No, you're going to do it. And that, cause that's how I am. You know, my commitment, uh, proceeds Trump's logic. Right. So I started kind of training for that. And then three weeks from the race, got a notification that they were postponing it. So instead of being at the end of May Memorial weekend, they moved it to June Fourth. Well, I couldn't do it June 4th because I was in my friend's wedding. So didn't get to run Mountains to Beach. Now it's again postponed to 2023. But I was training for it. So I was tired. So um, yeah, I already had the Orange County half registered for from 2020. So I went out on May 2nd and ran that and did not do great. It wasn't a course PR for me um, felt horrible the whole time. Uh, it was a real grind the day before my son got a really bad concussion at the skate park. Thank gosh. He was wearing a helmet. Um, but we were in the yard for most of the day and then had a monitor him in the evening all night long. My husband did that. Thank gosh. I was a mess. Um, but he was like, next day I couldn't sleep. And he's like, just go to the race. You already have your packet right down the street you're going to be twiddling your thumbs here so just go so I went and didn't do so hot but I'm blaming the concussion so um and then in June like 10th I had a 10 mile local race that I did I placed second for my age group again it was it just felt really hard it was really humid I chafed like nobody's business I never chafe I was like chafed in places I didn't even know existed so, um, they say I placed second in my age group. If I didn't, I did. Uh, I was passing a lot of people and people at the end were like, that was tough. So even though my pace doesn't reflect it, I still feel like I did quite well. Am I happy with it? No, because I want to see like a pace I've never seen before. And that's just not happening. So then I went into, um, an eight week Luke Humphrey base plan. 
So I am part of uh, the Luke Humphrey Run Club. I used to do the Run Club Light, which was like 50 bucks a year. And you get so much, so much. And I would say like, if you have one plan, that's the way to go. But I'm a girl who likes like, mm, let me look at this plan. Mm, let me try it out. Mm, don't like it. Let me switch it out. Let me try this plan. So because I'm that type of person, I spend a lot of money on plans. And so I think I paid 250 for the year and I can just switch out plans. So that's great for me because I would have spent way more than that. So anyway, I listened to one of his webinars and he said, if you do an eight week plan, you can get away with the 12 week training cycle. So as long as you keep your base up. So I was like, all right, that's what I'm going to do. Cause I didn't want to do uh, an intense marathon plan during the summer. Who wants to like figure out how to do a 16 mile tempo, you know, long run in Mexico, not I. And the thing is, if it's on the schedule, I will do it. And I'll just be, make everyone's lives miserable because it's like, I got to find out where to run. I got to do it on the treadmill and everything revolves around that. And then I make everyone miserable. So I was like, I don't want to do that. So the eight week plan, I uh, kept, it had incorporated speed, some long runs, but I didn't feel too much pressure. So I liked it. Um, yeah. So I, I'm just, the eight week plan just ended yesterday. So on the 22nd, I'm going to jump into a Luke Humphrey 55 mile downhill plan. This is what he recommended to me. And uh, I will start that next Monday. Um, over the summer, something different that I also did was I did speed sessions on the track with my local run club. And um, it's designed by a coach. And uh, I really enjoy the motivation I get from others. And it's just a nice group of people. Um, so usually when I start marathon training, I drop that group because the training gets longer. And But I'm kind of thinking of weaving it into my Tuesday long run. Um, because the motivation from running with others for me, I think that benefit might trump any session I do by myself. So that's what I'm grappling with right now. Do I stick specifically with the 55 mile plan and do those exact, or do I kind of mix runners high and with it for the mental boost? Anyway, I'm not sure yet. Um, yeah. So that again starts 822. And we'll see how it goes. So um, some changes for me this year, I have to get up at, I'm going to have to be out the door at 5am. Because someone thought it was a great idea that we start school at 745. I don't know. It's a terrible idea. Kindergartners in class at 745, they're gonna fall asleep. So, um, yeah, we started 830. That was nice. And now it's 745. So we'll see. I'm sure I'll be complaining about it in future videos. Um, anyway, hope that you're all well. And then if you're training for something that you're training is going better than mine. Maybe not. Maybe it's just, I keep hoping like it's just summer training. You're fine. It's just summer. So we'll find out. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Happy running. And I will be back. So I start 822 the Sunday after. I'll give a recap, week one recap. So for 12 weeks, you want to watch, you know where to find me. Bye.